Hi, it's Rob from robnonphoto.com with a quick book review of uh, two books I picked up from the charity shop a couple of months ago. And I have to say, they're probably one of my favourite uh, photo books. Um, these are books published by Taschen by Hans Michael Co Coetzel. Um, and it's photo icons, the story behind the pictures, volume one and volume two. Um, right from the beginning of photography up to, I think it's the 1900, oh right, 1926, and where this one goes from 1928 to 1991. So what's it all about then? Well, what these books do is they take famous and well-known photographs that probably change the face of photography and give you a really good background um, about the photograph, the artist, the effect it had, and um, just sort of brings you up to speed with uh, the interesting stories often behind these uh, behind these images. So let's take an example. So there we go. So there we've got a really famous photograph there of Isambard Kingdom Brunel by Robert Howlett, and then we have all this sort of lovely explanation of the, the background to the picture. Um, uh, a bit about the photographer and the history, some other images in there as well. Um, yeah, and it's really, really good. It's telling you all about the history of photography and also about how these images were made, which is often, you know, you, we kind of take for granted sometimes that we think some photographs are just, just snapshots and they just happen to be great. But this gives you details about what the photographer had to go through to take. Now that book's okay, volume one, but it's got lots of old photographs in, where volume two, I think, is a little bit more interesting because a lot you'll probably recognize a lot more of these photographs as you go through them um, there we go there's Kappa's famous shot of a fallen uh, is it called a fallen Republican soldier I what, it, what that one's called Spanish loyalist and then there's a whole background on sort of Kappa where he was when he took the photograph another photograph in that particular image and more about the famous Magnum photographer let's have a look for another one there you go another great photograph that we all probably know Dorothea Lang migrant mother taken in the uh, uh, 1930s and again it goes it goes into detail about Dorothea Lang and the, the food securities administration was it that she worked for um, all that sort of background stuff there we have a uh, famous picture from Henri Cartier-Bresson so have a look what else have we got in there that you might recognize um, the kiss by Robert Doisno, Doisno. Okay, my pronunciation of these names isn't very good. And again, we have a whole background about the photographer and the situation where the photograph was taken. Robert Dean in Times Square. Um, one of the most interesting stories, actually, is the story on sort of Marilyn Monroe and Bert Stern's pictures that he took of her. And one of the last photo shoot shops, photo shoots she was did, and then the sort of controversy behind those um, photographs. Um, and also one of my favourite images, which is, when we get to it near the back, there we go, Helmut Newton with their coming, a famous photograph from the early 80s. Um, and then we move on to some photographers that I don't really, haven't really heard of, but there's some great images. They're all reproduced really beautifully, and the text is great, and it's an interesting read, which is good. It's always good to, sometimes you find with photo books, you have nice photographs, but the uh, the text isn't that isn't that great. But with these, you really get a sense of the, the sometimes the drama and uh, the work that goes into uh, making a photograph. So, photo icons, the story behind the Vic pictures, volume one and volume two, published by Taschen by Hans Michael Coetzel. Definitely worth looking out for um, if you can, and um, definitely if you can pick it up at your local library. But these are ones that I like owning, and uh, they're very very good indeed. Right, that's Rob from RobNonphoto.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you on Flickr.